one of the hottest events. It's going to be a Group M sports touring up to 1,300 cc on two wheels. But we have two categories running in this event. We have the 600 cc's that will be getting a separate award, whilst the others rest over 600 up to 1,300 cc will be grabbing the next award. So basically, there are two events running concurrently, over 600 cc or probably up to 600 cc. The 600 cc's mainly will be running on one category and above 600 2300 will be awarded with another category kds sandarwan cylinder dartave haise hatta paha karata bavitha karana habe ohuwat ayat kwanne cylinder dartave haise ita adala kaande ita bawa sandahan kirimak tibuna yanuwa cylinder dartave haise ya kaande ek tarangaanshe kut ita amatarawa haise ita wedi tarangaanshe tawa tarang kaande kut washin thamai me tarange kriyatmaka wanne gmpm aponsu ohu bavitha karanne cylinder dartave haise asu nawe karata namuth ohuth ayat wanne cylinder dartave Overall, Dinesh, I think it's up to 700 cc, it will be one category and over 700 cc, up to 1300 cc, it will be a different category. So, due to the uh, restricted amount of motorcycles and uh, with the entries coming in, they wanted to ensure that the thing is all get opportunities of taking part in this event. So, they are running it concurrently, but it will be two different categories running at the same time. Tony, I have a question for you. Uh, do you think that now we have 1,300s, 600s, 900s, would you see a clustering up of power? Well, I think uh, in corners and all, I think the 600 will gain advantage. Only at the back stretch and on the stretchers, uh, the 1,300s, if they are to speed up, they will get some sort of an uh, opportunity of going. But the thing is, uh, since the uh, gooseneck, and the cops corner and with the other corners probably the 600 should lead the race ben tarange aaramba kirimas da siyalla sudan min sasdu prasan idrien sita tarange aaramba karana java sampanna boda harimak tarang karuwan silu denama aadi balati yaturu padi silindru dartave 1300 yak dakwa bala ganunu shashika sandruwan palamu kone edima den permuna laba karana samatkam dakkono so shashika sandruwan is riding a ktm super duke train 1290cc that's 1290cc bike clearly showing the power and we also have company number 67 in close contention and that's Pasidu Prasanna Yamaha MT9 900cc bike but there's clear evidence of raw power coming out of that KTM Super Duke that's a 1290cc bike the man the machine the power everything is in unison uh, right here at Katakuru, the track one rider goes off the track, probably owing to some mechanical failure. Yes, Rukshan, oh, look see. at that! Look at that! This 900 CC is giving absolute best and competition to that uh, Super Duke. But it, I think it has the required power in a track of this nature. In the meantime, as I told you earlier, the bike with the 1290 CC is definitely losing its power when it comes to corners so however if the same bikes were running at a track of uh, in Mirigama you will see all the light bikers definitely going in ahead Shashika Sandurwan Peramune Sasandu Prasanna then Devana Tanasita Tarage Niyochin Ekar Tony what is the top speed that you reckon uh, they, they must be doing on the hangar straight well on these touring bikes it doesn't give a uh, immediate launch or uh, but it will take some time for it to build up the speed however i think definitely it should be touching about 150 or 160 on the uh, back stretch and both the stretches when it passes our commentary bus it gives a huge buzz and it passes uh, switch passes as if it was a slgt car i would like to see some you know display uh, uh, one day you know putting all these uh, maximum powered uh, motorcycles and cars to see uh, how it appears um, in raw power on track. But definitely I don't think, you know, like if you take the cars, it will be definitely the SLGT followed by the SLH cars, which is almost getting closer to the same power of SLGT or slightly less. Look at that, company number 57, the man who's riding uh, Yamaha MT9 900cc, now in front, he has managed to take the lead. That would be Pasindu, sorry, Sasindu Prasansana. Prasansana.
premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. My trusted choice is Maxi Styles. Sasidu Prasans and Idrien, Cylinder Dartave, Navasia, Ohuk Pasubas in Shashik Sandruan, Cylinder Dartave, Das de Sia Arnuak, Namu Dava Pate, Illa Sitna, Ritme, Vege, Manavin, Pali de Kragana, Messinder Dartave, Navasia, Sasindu Prasans and Age, Davana Ritme, Prasanshani, Davana Ratavak, Mena Hoda Kramanak Pasubas in Navatavak. The race leader uh, who was leading the race. Uh, Sashika Sandarwan is now in P2, challenged by competition number 99, Supun Suraj. He's also riding a Yamaha MT9 900cc. That's probably something with this Yamaha MT9 motorcycle. They well, are getting into contention after some time and getting into the rhythm and packing some raw power to challenge a KTM Duke 1290cc motorcycle. Yeah, but overall, I think the KTM uh, 1290 is overweight when it comes into the corners. So you can't go in for late breakings. So you need to break earlier uh, to get that advantage. However, it reminds me, uh, in the good old days, I think we are talking about 25 years before, when the RS125, RS125 racing motorcycles start beating all the 1000 cc's. And I remember the late Upali Dasanayak also, one of the victims of it, running a 750 cc class and was also winning most of the events but the two-stroke bikes they, it was much faster in corners and all these things other than the faster bikes did well only in the stretchers Sasundu Prasans and Adrian then Devanastani Venasak Supun Suraj Samatkam Takkonwa Paskar Yarnadra Ivar Shashika Sadarwan Look at on the hanger stretch Look at that on the hanger stretch That KTM packs raw power he just challenges and switch past uh, that Yamaha MT9. But around the corners, things are much more different, uh, Dinesh. I think it's very important. I Supun Suraj giving his absolute best around the goose neck and uh, now in P2 so two Yamahas are actually governing this race and uh, here we have look at this this is what I want to say the KTM Duke is comes back comes to life on the hanger stretch he's side by side when he goes into the cops corner he's on P2 so will he has the advantage on the final lap after the final corner will he carry enough exit speed and power to take the position that he requires to take Itamat Mahoda Satanak Dakin and the Blon, Shashik Sandruan Saha, Vishishin Makan, Supun Suraj, Atar, Supun Suraj, Abibua, Yano, Sarl Reiki, Gaman Magata, Ah, Vigas Atamangi, Adi Darita, Shashik Sandruan, Namut, Wangu Pal Nedi, Nevatawa, Venus Kam Siduano, Eden the Pyramid Labagano, Supun Suraj. Supun Suraj is absolutely displaying perfect man and machine unison and a great rhythm. That is why he moves through the goose deck uh, corners pretty nicely and clean. But look at this KTM. He is very close. And back onto the hanger stretch. Well, oh, look at that. Look at that comeback. That is pure muscle. Pure muscle. Pehadili, Tarangi, Kriyapnakona, Akare. Nitra, Nitra, Adi Vegi, Bavita Karna, Anko Visi, Kashashika Sandruan, Namut Nemedi, Silder Dartave, Navasi, Yadrupedia, May Dawan Ritmeda, Vada Tundin, Udo Karan Patangana, Beninata, Pradana Dawan Patir Pemin in the winter, Anko Visi, Kashashika Sandruan, Vegi, Vedikaragana, Odekala Pedi, Ekal Haki, Namut Balamu, Wanguidi, Nemedi, Nevatavak, Sami Pakonin, Namut Ever Edakne, uh, Supun Surashta, Oh Pasukrayan, Palamu, May Grusne Kalapedi, Bovenas comes to be Haki, Oh, never to Vatava, never to Vatava, Kapatak in the Puran Kapatibina, Vichitravataria. That is pure racing by Sandaruan. He managed to stay ahead uh, going into the gooseneck, 
but he did not make it stick coming out of the gooseneck into the hanger stretch now will this be the last lap or do we have more laps to see ओहटनो स्ट्रेच साक्षी